Good afternoon, everybody. This is Zorindam Bagh here. Uh, previously, we have completed uh, till this section. Now, today we will be dealing with uh, this section. Uh, today, I made a mistake. Um, I would like to first apologize for that. Um, I uploaded uh, something which actually belongs to the fifth sem, and I uh, mistakenly uh, uploaded that video. To your group please excuse me for that uh, so today we are going to start from the this particular uh, part of the text uh, this is the fly by Catherine's Mansfield now this intersection is known as the fly episode so this is the beginning of fly episode and it will continue till here till the end of the text so this particular um, section is known as the fly episode so let us uh, start our lecture today so what we have at that moment the boss noticed that a fly had fallen into his broad ink pot and was trying feebly but desperately to clamber out again so back in those days there were uh, people used to you people used uh, fountain pens instead of ballpoint pens so they they had ink pot in their decks um, i'm a student of hamilton high school there uh, we have some old benches and uh, uh, we have seen some holes over there uh, which uh, was actually to keep those ink pots so it was very common then even in our earlier days we use fountain pens and for that purpose we need uh, liquid inks so the boss had a um, ink pot on his desk and uh, there was a fly which uh, fell inside that pot and it was uh, desperately uh, trying to get out of that ink help help said those struggling legs actually the fly is not saying anything it uh, it appears that it is the imagination of the boss or the imagination of the writer as if the uh, fly is uh, asking for some sort of help uh, struggling legs now this is an interesting um, uh, analogy over here. The, the fly was uh, struggling and uh, instead of uh, saying that the fly was struggling to get out of the ink pot, it is described as the struggling legs. Of whom? Obviously, obviously the fly. But the sides of the ink pot were wet and slippery. It fell back again and again, sorry, again and began to swim. So no matter how hard it tries, um, it is very difficult to climb out something uh, like uh, ink pot which is very slippery inside the boss took up a pen picked the fly out of the ink and shook it onto a piece of blotting paper now this is another very common piece on on a on a desk like that a person who is using ink pot uh, must have uh, blotting paper we had also in our earlier days we used blotting paper to soak the extra piece of uh, extra uh, extra liquid extra ink from uh, from our papers so the boss put uh, that uh, fly on that blotting paper and for a fraction of second it lay still on the dark patch that oozed round it yeah the blotting paper was you know it was absorbing the liquid so there was a dark patch around the fly then the front legs waved, took hold and pull, pulling its small sodden body up, it began the immense task of cleaning the ink from its wings. So this is the habit of uh, any animal actually if they get wet, uh, they start cleaning themselves. Uh, fly is not an exception in this matter and the fly was trying to clean itself. Uh, it was trying to clean the ink from its body and wings. Over and under, over and under went a leg along a wing. As the stone goes over and under under the sky now uh, there are um, stones which is used uh, for um, making uh, tools sharp and uh, uh, such as kite is is, an, is a is a particular instrument which is used for farming and uh, the way the fly was cleaning itself it looks like uh, it is um, it is like a whetstone. Whetstone. Whetstone is actually used to make things sharper. 
it was uh, its its legs were moving in such a manner that it was like a whetstone and it, it its body is described as uh, a scythe which was sharpening up and in this case it was not sharpening in this case it was cleaning then there were there was a pause while the fly seeming to stand on its tip of its toes tried to expand first one wing and then the other so it appears the fly clean cleaned itself now it's uh, ready to fly so that's why there was a pause and uh, it was uh, ready to f for for its flight so the first wing was he it opened and the other it succeeded at last and sitting down it began like a minute cat so to cleaning it uh, its posture um, it is compared to a cat cat is much bigger than it uh, than a fly but still uh, the posture is compared here with a minute cat to clean its face now one could imagine that the little front legs rubbed each other lightly joyfully now anybody can you know assume that the fly is very happy that finally it has overcome the danger it had the horrible danger was over it had escaped it it was ready for life living again so it's been a very common thing if we somehow avert the danger of which uh, we are in or uh, we wear actually then if somehow we can manage to pull ourselves outside that danger we feel happy elated but just then the boss and had, had an idea but you know fate the boss is playing the role of fate here it is the playing the role of fate in the life of that fly little little fly boss had an idea he plunged his pen back into the ink leaned his thick wrist on the blotting paper and as the fly tried its wing down came a great heavy blot so that means not everyone who pulls you out from the danger is your friend sometimes it happens some people pulls you out of the danger you are experiencing of the of the trouble you are experiencing just to make things more worse now in this case the boss did the same thing the boss dropped another um, drop of ink another a drop of ink on the body of that little fly and what would it make of that now the boss was watching carefully that uh, he wants to he was curious that how the how the fly will survive this because it's okay to have one problem in your life but uh, when you think you avert it or you somehow dodged or tackled that problem in your life uh, suddenly another problem arises and this one is much more heavier than the earlier one what indeed what it will do the little beggar seemed absolutely cowed stunned and afraid to move because of what happened next now here the little fly has been described as the little beggar beggar do not have any choices so here the fly had no choices actually it 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 had to accept uh, whatever is happening with him so the beggar was Uh, absolutely cowed it was intimidated stunned it was shocked actually afraid to move it don't know that what will happen next if he moves but then as it painfully dragged itself forward but we have our life as 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 we are living being we have a tendency we have that uh, tenacity to leave no matter what happens we will struggle we will not give it give it up so the fly also had the same uh, tenacity had the same intuition that uh, i must live i must i must fight so it was fighting and that's why it dragged itself forward the front legs waved caught hold and more slowly this time the task began from the beginning whatever it did earlier it was doing the same thing in the in the repetitive mode is a plucky little devil thought the boss the boss was you know enjoying this fight you know back in those days uh in amphitheater gladiators used to fly fight with um, wild animals and people used to enjoy their fight no matter whether they live or die in most of the cases they used to die so this one also an, an animal an, an insect was fighting for its life and the boss was enjoying it thought the boss he felt a real admiration for the fly's courage obviously we are also very much you know happy to see itself fighting against this um, mishaps that was the only way to tackle things that was the right spirit never said i 
now this is the right way to make things you know uh, fight with the things we need to we, we should have positive energy uh, that's why it says never say die it was only a question of then triple dot it was only a question of when you are going to give up give, give up everybody will give up after certain efforts after certain attempts everybody will say enough is enough now he, he was actually testing how far this fly may go but the fly had again finished again finished its laborious task and the boss had just time to refill his pen to shake fair square on the new clean body yet another drop so the boss was testing the effort testing the uh, fight of the uh, fly so that's why he was very much curious he wants to know how much the fly can take so in the meantime the fly cleaned itself boss had an enough time to uh, had another drop on the new clean body of the fly what about it this time so first it fall on the ink pot ac accidentally second time the boss dropped it uh, intentionally this was on the third time this was the third mishap on the life of that little insect so what about it this time a painful moment of suspense followed suspense followed but behold the front legs were wake again waving boss felt a rush of relief he leaned over the fly and said to it tenderly you artful little bee now this bee you have triple dot it is not clear whether he intends to say uh, bee double e or something which we can consider as slang and we he actually had the brilliant notion of breathing on it to help the drying process see he was the troublemaker over here but actually he was trying to help so that he can have another moment um, another another uh, uh, another again the boss wants to drop or uh, uh, a drop of ink um, on that little bee and for that purpose he is actually enjoying this torture he is enjoying this you know the fly he is happy to torturing this little uh, insect so he was actually helping for the drying process all the same there was something timid and weak about its effort now so everything is uh, same and now this time it's been a bit weak and uh, uh, slow and the boss decided that this time should be the last so it's already been two times when the boss dropped the ink and now it will be the third time so as he uh, so he decided this will be the last time so he dipped the pen deep into the ink pot it was the last blot fell on the soaked blotting paper see uh, he already dropped twice so the blotting paper was already soaked this was the third time and the draglet fly lay in it and did not stir and this time the fly fight fly did not fight back the fly did not did not try even try it was it was dead almost the back legs were stuck to the body the front legs were not to be seen so this is the indication the fly is uh, already dead come on said the boss look sharp he steered it with his pen in vain nothing happened or was likely to happen the fly was dead see the boss was torturing the fly to test its limit but it appears he it could not stand the torture of the boss and it it is dead the boss lifted the corpse on the end of the paper knife and flung it into the waste paper basket but such a grinding feeling of wretchedness seized him that he felt positively frightened he started forward and pressed the bell for messy bring me some fresh blotting paper he said he st said sternly and looked sharp sharp about it that means he need it immediately he do not want to continue with the crime he had uh, all done already the evidence he had was already in the office in its uh, waste paper basket so he don't want to um, he do wa don't want to keep it like that rather he wants to remove the evidence whatever he had done with the fly no matter how small it is but actually it, he killed someone he killed a creature he killed uh, a character and look sharp about it and while the old dog padded away he fell to wondering what it was he had been thinking about before the boss could not remember what was he thinking before what was it it was again you have ellipses triple dot uh, he took out his handkerchief and passed it inside his collar for the life of him he could not remember he could not remember for what reason he had killed 
the fly for what was he thinking before that he could not remember so that was all that's the end of the short story the fly written by Catherine Mansfield I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked it so please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and help my channel to grow thank you for watching this video